Eric Moade here. I just wanted to discuss the levels that I tend to use a lot as far as the Fibonacci sequence is concerned and also on my RSI work. I cannot do without the following numbers as you are very aware and that is 30.90 and also 69.10. Now, if you add those two up, you get a perfect 100. Where do these numbers come from? All these two numbers, very important in understanding the RSI, which is a measure of sentiment as far as I'm concerned. That number and that number are all, all of them are derivatives of 61.8. That number there is the magic number. So let's get on with the video here so we can explain some things. You will notice that in most RSI charts, they're always going to be giving you the 50 level tick and they also give you 30 as a lower level and they also give you 70 as a higher level. Now I'm here to tell you that the actual correct level is supposed to be 30.90 and the higher level is supposed to be right here 69.10. Where do I get these numbers? It's very simple. Now before I go into that, why don't we come back to the main number here. The main number we are talking about is 61.8. All these numbers you see here, the 30.90 and also the 69 Point one zero. They are all variations of this number here. All of them. Okay? And how so? If you put zero here on a Fibonacci retracement tool, you'll find that right here is where you get this number. Zero here, a hundred on top. So one hundred on the Fibonacci retracement tool, you'll find that sixty one point eight is exactly at 9.10. If you flip it and go the other way around, if you put 0 here and 100 here on the Fibonacci retracement tool, you will find that right here at 61.8 on the on the Fibonacci retracement tool is where you get 30.90. So in other words, when you're bullish Above 50 on the RSI, 61.8 shows up at this number here, 69.10. So that's why you find that stocks go crazy to the upside when they move above this number, 69.10, which is actually 61.8, but when put above 50, all right? When you flip it, now on the bearish side, when stocks are slashing below 30.90, it is actually 61.8. But when you put 0 and 100 here on the Fibonacci retracement tool. So what you see is that all these numbers I use here can now be very easily explained that they are variations or actually derivatives of 61.8. That's where the numbers come into play. Don't forget that there's also on the RSI, the RSI on any time frame that whenever you move above this now this is going to be your 61.8 on the RSI whenever stocks move above or below that you get significant movements and also here where you should get 38.2 which is now the opposite of 61.8 right remember these two numbers add up to what they add up to 100. So really 38.2 is also 61.8. Flip it around, okay? So you find that when stocks move above 38.2 or below 38.2, you get significant moves. The more you understand these numbers and how they move markets, the more things become clearer to you. Eric Moade, as always, good luck, peace, and blessings.